slid from the rear. <laughs> like two tons, bro. Are you mad? Two tons. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a little treat. We're actually out in a F90 M5 tuned by Evolve, 730 horsepower. Should I say it's a little treat for myself because I used to own one of these cars and uh, my car obviously had a Ford's engine, 1000 horsepower. But uh, yeah, these are absolutely stunning. Like perfect daily drivers, absolute supercar killer. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of the most expensive cars we've bought. Somebody will be winning it this Sunday, 10.30 for 1.99. We've actually got a 38,000 pound tax free cash alternative. So I've got this for the next couple of days. I'm excited to daily it. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the video. Can't slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life. Right, so I mean, we're gonna go hit a few back lanes, and this is the cool thing about the M5. It's such a big, heavy car. You're talking 2,000 kilos, guys. But let me tell you, the way that this car can navigate on roads like this in the wet is unreal. This car is like driving a, a, a big RS3. The dimensions of the car are big, so like visibility-wise, like looking at the bonnet, it's all the way over there. So. You know, when you are driving through thinner roads like we are now, you do have to be a bit careful. I'm not gonna lie, my F90 M5, I tried to drive it like it was an RS3, and I actually smashed my front left wheel. Never mentioned it ever. I wasn't living life fast, but I curved one of the wheels dirty, man. Uh, not my HREs, thankfully. It was actually uh, one of the when I, when I was running the stock wheels. But I mean, even now, guys, like the sensitivity or the the steering rack, should I say, is very quick. These are very, very capable cars. Like on the Nürburgring, you're talking up sure it was a seven minute 30, seven minute 40 uh, second um, lap time. That's crazy for a car that weighs two tons. But anyone that's unfamiliar, uh, it's a big family saloon, 4.4 liter V8, twin turbocharged, and they're really good at putting their power down because they are four wheel drive. So this has got the X drive system. Don't think it's temporary like the Holdex and like the Volkswagens and the Audis. Uh, this is a permanent four wheel drive setup. And I've driven these car on the limit. I've done track days in these cars. And uh, it's a very neutral all wheel drive system. As in when you take a corner, it doesn't slip from the rear. Oh, Ricky, don't go the fuck. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't. Tell me we've done a wheel. No, I think we're good. We're good people. now running Evolve Stage 1 software, ACB ZF Box. Uh, this isn't running any software for a Stage 1, you're completely fine. But when you go Stage 2 Plus running MEF, that's when you need to sort up the clamping pressure. I'm not sure how it works on the ZF Boxes, obviously they're not dual clutches. But you can hear in the cabin, nice and quiet, nothing crazy lads. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, one thing to note is this car has got a lot of factory options. One really annoying one is the bloody lane assist. So if you're on the motorway and you sort of cross lanes, it wants to pull you back but now I can feel the wheel going a bit tight. Can be annoying, but let's get our foot down so we can change the velocity setting of the gearbox so it speeds up the shifts, flatten the throttle. Absolute monster. Does have ever so small amounts of torques there, but like this corner here, you can honestly, this car is, it's a joke. Like the performance, like what the hell, bro? Like the way you can navigate down a road with confidence though, that's the thing. Uh, I don't feel like massively involved. Obviously that's a bad thing for those that, that like drivers cars. Uh, you know, it is a little bit dull in that respect, but that's why it is an amazing daily driver. As a daily driver, you don't want to be involved, you know? Jeez, man, we are teleporting right now. So we've got traction on. I can feel, you know, the power just being zapped just slightly. So what I like to do is I've got MDM, four wheel drive sport, 
and that will put like a detraction in like a halfway mode so what we'll do is we'll try even do a launch control <laughs> wow yeah boy you ain't even got to pull it into launch mode uh, i almost had it in like the uh, brake boost fast for the road i'm not gonna lie to you uh, i'm not sure on the torque figures but man perfect daily driver so as i was saying like it, it's got the capability of like an rs3 for example yeah it doesn't give you the interaction okay we went into manual mark by accident uh yeah you don't get the interaction of an rs3 or some of the smaller m cars but that's the whole idea of it this car you can go on long journeys you can i don't know about full fuel consumption i think this was actually the worst cars I ever drove for fuel consumption. Yeah, ZF box, you ain't got those harsh gear shifts uh, with pre-gen M cars, you know, on up shift. It would really slip the wheels and would be a little bit dangerous. Look, that bump there was one of the bad ones around here and it just soaks it up nicely. We do have adaptive suspension. We can change the throttle position so we can shorten the travel of the throttle to make it feel sportier. Uh, we can stiffen the springs or the dampers um, so that there's less flex, less roll. Jesus! <laughs> you know, to think this is just a stage one and my car had a thousand brake, that is nuts, man. Without fail, I could say the M5, wow, dream daily driver. Similar to the E63, I mean, either one, E63 or M5, they are the equivalent. It's just personal preference, really. Um, the M5s, they are a bit more modern inside now. You know, they've changed the design. It's been a little while now, isn't it? With nearly 2023. Um, it's a lot more modern. guys i mean you just flatten the throttle and you just just like the m140s you've got an eight speed zf gearbox so everywhere you put your foot down you've got power torque it's an absolute rocket ship 730 horsepower off a stage one tune you're talking i think a 150 to 170 horsepower increase highly recommend the volvo automotive if you do want a safe fast tune for your car get in touch man man like imran and that come on brav if you're watching shout out to imran and the team we're keeping it moving right now it inspires so much confidence and it's not um i mean nah, okay i was about to say it's not like bad confidence because look in my opinion some cars inspire a little too much confidence and um it could go wrong man but, like look at the turn and the front end's beautiful back end follows nicely feel that traction going through all four wheels look i'm driving one-handed bro when can you drive m cars with one hand can we get back in front of this car is the question i think yes we can slid it then <laughs> it slid from the rear <laughs> it's because we've got it in the mx drive like two tons bro are you mad two tons so i bought this car completely stock i took it to evolve firstly and um, had it stage one tune 730 horsepower i then took it to harry at the auto works my guy anybody that wants to sort of do any car customization he is the guy that i've been going to the whole of my life before youtube harry was the man so i had this car uh, window tinted front and rear uh, we had the car lowered we had it spaced we had the wheels blacked out we had the crash bars and the brake calipers painted in phoenix yellow like the e46 m3s we also had the headlights tinted we had carbon fiber put all over the cars we had carbon fiber splitter carbon fiber not diffuser carbon fiber um m style carbon tips and uh carbon fiber spoiler bros 
slide from the rear? No. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen one of these spin out from the rear, like um, like an aggressive snap like the GTRs and some other four-wheel drive style cars. a video in it that has got to be a video lads come on what more do you want than that little video on that you know what i'm saying little one two video so um yeah i think i will end it there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and once again i know we've still not launched our uh, content on living life fast but i'm flipping gassed shit loads of content i'm about to go call more film some crazy oh man like look i'm not out here to film the crazy cars but it's exciting man because i'm back with a new mindset i'm just chilling now relaxing i'm not trying to stress myself out. i'm gonna keep my balance of life just you know what i mean doing my lf game stuff chilling with the family and uh i'm gonna continue to train and just slip in two in two videos you know what i'm saying simple simple so anyway guys ticket link in the description someone's gonna be winning this car sunday 10 30 i personally myself will be revealing the winner if you do not want this car you can take 38 000 pound tax free cash ticket link in the description i'll see you guys very soon Girl in my hotel that's five stars yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear